Hi everyone. Today I just wanted to pop in here as I am organizing my seeds and getting them um, all put away for the year. I will be starting seeds really soon. I got most of my seeds in. Um, I have a few that are coming in the mail that should be here in the next couple of days, but uh, for the most part they're all here and I am going to go ahead and organize them. thought I would show you the system I have developed over the years. Um, I have tried a few things and this one seems to work really really well so I thought I would share that with you so these are my my pile of seeds and um, I get most of my seeds from a place called Ross and supplies in um, Hillsboro is it Hillsboro address yes Hillsboro Wisconsin um, it is actually an Amish um, seed supply store and I absolutely love going there uh, it's a small place uh, they have organic and heirloom um, uh, products, seeds, and it's just really wonderful working one-on-one um, -on -one with the grower there. He's super helpful and friendly and great prices, and I've always had um, excellent, uh, excellent uh, success with his seeds. And um, I also get some from Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds. Um, those are the ones that I still have yet to get, and I'm sure, well, um, if you haven't heard of them, very popular uh, heirloom seed supply company. They're also very great. Um, there's just a few things that I wasn't able to get at my normal supplier that I got um, through them. And they do have some cool varieties um, that my normal supplier doesn't necessarily carry. So uh, yeah, I have a few of those coming. But that is, so that's where I get my seeds. Now I have them all. Um, I actually went there and picked them up one day, um, had other shopping to do, and he also carries excellent seed starter that is just fabulous, so I picked that up as well. Um, all right, on to how I actually organize my seeds. So what I start with is a photo organizing container. It has all these individual organizing things. These are meant for photos. And they work excellent. This one, this is, see, packet's open. It's all right. They work excellent for um, sorting seeds. I will show you exactly how I do that. Okay. So in each of these containers, there are eight separate uh, holders. And what I did is I just, I have mine al alphabetized. It doesn't necessarily have to happen, but it's just easier for me to, if I'm looking for a certain, um, seed type, you know, it's just easier than to look through both boxes. I eventually am probably going to need more boxes, but right now I'm making it work. Um, and all, I didn't do anything fancy. You could take and get, um, you do like a label printer or you know, the Cricut or whatever and put labels, but I didn't, I used permanent marker and I just labeled each one with the type that is in there. So like this one is beets. So I have beets in here, beets, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, carrots, you get the point. So I just have it alphabetized as they go. And then I will just take my um, cabbage here and I will add it to my box. Now I do still have seeds in here from last year. It's okay, I'm gonna keep using them. I, what I will do is I will use up the last year. Heck, I got 2021 in here and it'll be fine. Um, I'll use up my 2021, 2022. I, well, let's see. I actually have a new kind. This one's a different kind of cabbage. Um, so I'll plant a few of those, but I will use my older seeds up and that's okay. As long as you keep your seeds in a cool, um, area, they don't get too hot, a cool and dry area. Um, they're going to be fine for a few years. Uh, I know the, the recommendation is only a year, but I have had zero issues. Um, as long as I didn't, I, one year I left my seeds in my greenhouse, my starter greenhouse. And yeah, those ones are all duds because they got way too hot. But as long as you keep them nice and cool, I have planted seeds that were like eight years old and they're fine. Um, anyway, so there, I went through most of these boxes already when I was ordering seeds to see what I needed. So I got rid of the empty packets and all that, but I might've missed some. So I'll just go through and if there's any empty ones, if there's, yeah. Um, and I will just add it to the packets and I will um, adjust these so that the oldest ones are on the top. When I take them out to plant to start the seeds, I will check anyways at the dates. Um, because like I said, there's like, I have 
six, five, I can count, five different um, <laughs> types of cabbage right here. I'm sure there's more in here. Um, and yeah, there, these are all five different varieties. So I will plant a little bit of each. And then, like I said, I will go through, I'll just kind of organize these real quick into piles, you know, what they are, and then I'll put them in to this. I do have some that I have multiple of, like herbs. I have lots of herbs, so I couldn't fit them into one container. So I have two things that are herbs. The nice thing is if, let's say I, my cabbage, for instance, if I end up, I purchase so many cabbage seeds that I don't have enough, you know, that I um, don't, this isn't adequate. I can, I think I do have like one extra in here um, or whatnot. I can just adjust them. I can take this out and I can, you know, move them around and this still will be alphabetized. I don't have to, doesn't have to rework the whole system. I just add one and, you know, adjust them, move them. And, you know, the last one here would go into this box, right? So um, it really, really works so nicely. I like it a lot and it keeps everything dry, keeps it clean. Um, keeps it free from little mice that might, you know, want to take a little snack on your seeds. Um, I really like them. This one's going to be a problem. <laughs> this is cucumbers that are floating around. So we might have mystery cucumbers. I, I'll, I'll see. I might have to figure that one out. Um, that's not the problem of the container. That's That was me. I must have done something. Accidentally didn't close it close the packet. Now, there are some that are too big for those, like my uh, beans. Like, what's this? There's more beans. Beets. You know, these packets are way too big. So I also have a nice dusty um, box. It's just a, you know, it's not Rubbermaid. I don't know. It's just a, a lidded box. Oh, there's some random stuff in here. My, this is my seed order from last year bag. Anyway, again, I have to organize this. This is what I'm doing today. Um, so I just put the bigger things in here. So I'll have it all nice and organized. Um, but again, it just keeps it dry, keeps the, the pests away from it and everything. So that is what I will be doing here. I should add that I also take this whole box out with me to the garden when I'm planting. Um, all of these, yes, all of these that are in this box, none of it I start in the house. It's all, you know, beans, peas, beets, uh, popcorn, or popcorn, corn, sweet corn, that type of thing. So all of this goes right to the garden with me. So I do also carry my, um, these are my little discs for my planter. There are more of them. I'm guessing the rest of them are with the planter. Um, and so I will round those up and put them in there. Um, I also have a seed sower in here. I honestly have never used this. I probably should just get rid of it. Um, and with the, the um, other style, with the photo frame holder ones, um, I will also take these out. That's the really awesome thing is, okay, so a lot of the times it's like windy or you know, not the greatest conditions when I'm planting. So if I have something like that, I carrots that I'm going to direct. sow, I can just take the whole box with me and then I'm not, I don't have packets flying around and I it keeps it, you know, clean from the elements and all that stuff. Um, just keeps it all contained and really nice. So, uh, I really like that. Also, I was going to say these boxes, they can be kind of pricey in my opinion. But if you go somewhere like Joanne, um, Michael's, that's where I, I got mine at Joanne Fabric, um, Michael's, uh, they carry them and they often have like coupons or, you know, sales deals. Don't buy them full price. Wait for the sale. You know, <laughs> then you can get them for a decent price and for what they are and the, um, they're lasting great. You know, I guess I've only had these for a year, but it's really, um, I mean, the boxes are dusty, but that's not their fault. That's mine. Um, so they're, they really hold up well. So now I have these all separated into, you know, what they are, spinach and all that. And I will just, I don't have to alphabetize this. I just put them in.
This is my inoculant for my peas and beans. And I will just get a little baggie to put that in. Okay. I don't have a zippered one, but this will be fine. Just put it in here, and then it's not floating around. It really wasn't that bad in here. Um, I put any, like, um, we, we grow organically. We are not organically organic certified, and we, we won't be, but um, any, you know, small, you know, fertilizer things that I can fit in here. This one's like a, I don't know, I don't know, some sort of trial <laughs> organic thing. You know, I'll put that in there too. Just kind of keeps it all together so I'm not rifling around trying to find it. This, these I use sometimes for plant markers. They're just popsicle sticks. Um, honestly, they're not my favorite anymore. I use um, old curtain blinds. Uh, I don't know, I can't remember the name, but the blinds that you know, the plastic ones that get all, they have the strips. I don't know what, I can't think of what they're called. Anyways, some of those, and we cut them up into, my husband just takes a bundle and takes the saw, cuts them into strips, and I write on those. Um, and yeah, so that's what those are for, and I have those somewhere. I have to round those up. It's not perfect, but I will, once I find them, they will go right in here, and then I will know where they are. Okay, so this box is done. No problem. Easy peasy. We're all done with that. And I will go on to the next boxes. All right. So again, I'm just going to separate them all first by variety and then put them in there. Um, this is just some seeds that my mom saved for me for some coxcomb um, flowers. So hopefully we can make those work. Downfall to this one, to these seed packets is there's not pictures on them. So you know, it's just got to find the check mark as to what it is. But a lot of them I know the name and I know, oh yeah, that's whatever. Oh, I did find the small mix gourds. I didn't think I got that. Good. So as I'm separating this, or we can talk about how I start my seeds, when I start my seeds and how I just determine when to start seeds. So I am in zone four or five. I am right on the line of four and five. So I do not get one zone, I get two. <laughs> uh, so one thing that I find really helpful is this website called, um, or it's Farmer's Almanac website. Um, but they have a, you can just type in your zip code and it will tell you when to plant, when to start, when to, um, when to plant outdoors or when to start indoors, when to plant outdoors or start outdoors um, for fall or spring and fall planting. And that is super helpful because it goes by your last predicted frost date and it's very, um, you know, localized to where you are so much so that my friends like 10 miles down the road get a different reading than I do, a different suggestion than I do, um, which is pretty cool, I think. Uh, and I've used that for years. I've gone by this, you know, this suggestion. They have it by, I should add, they have it also by the last predicted frost date as well as the lunar calendar um, because some people go by that to plant. Um, I will leave a link in the description below of that um, website. I love it. I, there's no guesswork. I don't have to think about it. I type in my zip code and I look up and I'm like, oh, that's when I need to start. And I take a calendar and I write it in there you know, okay, peppers today, you know, whatever it is. Um, and I go by that every single year. So I highly recommend some of these. I don't remember what they are and they're not. Oh, I can't remember what that one is. And I'll look through my um, catalog. Actually, I'll look through my order form and I'll know. Um, anyway, so that is what I use to go by. And in fact, I will be starting very soon. I do not, I have some flowers. I mainly do vegetables. So Flowers, some of them you have to start earlier. Um, like I, said, I start a few, but not a lot because this is old and enough for me to handle. Uh, yeah. So while I'm going through this, I could also tell you some of my very favorite varieties that I plant of each kind. So after I'm done doing this, I will do that. Um, lettuces. I'm not going to really talk about lettuces because I just have a bunch. In fact, I probably, oh, that's carrot. That one can be tossed. 
nothing in there. Um, I just have a lot of lettuces. Um, I always plant a bib lettuce and black seed of Simpson and a salad mix. Uh, that looks old, but it's actually not that old. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, I probably didn't need to even order any. I did look through them. This one's old, too old. That was the year that I fried them. Um, I actually ordered a really ton, uh, a really ton. Ordered a lot of lettuce seeds on Baker Creek because it was a really good deal. And it was like a salad mix. So again, I always plant arugula. I always plant a salad mix. I always plant bib. And I also always plant, what did I say, butter crunch? Black seeded Simpson. Butter crunch is another really good one. So that's kind of what I always do. And I'm going to hit them all. I can. <laughs> no, I'm going to throw them in another one. I'm going to have to because I know I have more coming. I'll just make sure to use them up. Gosh, why is this not fitting? Oh, so sometimes I have all the seeds on one side. If you can see, they're all facing the same way. Well, this side is, can you see how that's happening? So I gotta flip half of them. It equals it out, evens it out. Now it can fit better. Uh, Lancelot was leeks. Now I remember. So I have leeks and onions in here. I don't really have a suggestion for onions. I had a bad year with onions last year, so I won't take my word on that one. Um, but I also used just some random seed packets. Shouldn't have done that. Here we go. So I have a candy onion, a Sedona, and a Red Wing. I can't really give you much advice on that because they're new to me. Candy onion is always a good one, though. <clears throat> Um, peas. So I do have some smaller packets in here. In fact, I probably could take these and put them in the other ones, but, um, I always plant a sugar snap pea and, um, yeah, that's mainly what's in here. The sugar snap peas. They're just a smaller packet. And then I have huge ones over here. I have avalanche. Avalanche is a, um, like a stir fry pea, you know, like your, uh, flat ones that use for stir fries. Green Arrow and Maxigolt are the ones that I plant. Oh, that's another sugar sprint. I like those sugar sprint peas. Okay, peppers. I always get... Oh, I do have some of this left. Yay, because I could not get this this year. Um, yummy Mix, which are your little like snacking peppers that you get at the um, store, you know, and they come in a bag. Oh my gosh, they're so good. So that's the Yummy Mix. I'm so glad I still had some of these for some reason i didn't take the greatest notes um let's see some of these i actually got at like a discounted rate last year at the end of the season um at my amish supplier and so i they're new so i'm not going to recommend those but ace is a very good pepper that i would recommend um, another one is aristotle um, those two are really good so those are like a green bell pepper and those are my peppers. I do have like habanero and other things in there. I have some yellow and red ones or yellow and orange ones. But um, again, not confident enough to give my recommendations on those. But um, those Ace and Aristotle, great peppers. And those yummy mix, really good. Pumpkins, Hoden is my go-to. I always get Hoden or H-O-W-D-E-N, Howden, Hoden, whatever you call it. Um, Oh, uh, you know what? These, I think I'm actually, I don't know if I'm going to keep these. These were ones that I saved. Oh yeah. These are ones that were saved from last year. Um, so I did save some pumpkin seeds or squash type seeds. Uh, they are never going to come back completely the same if you save them just, you know, off of, out of your garden. They've been cross pollinated, so they're not necessarily going to be, you know, the same thing. But I think that's okay with pumpkins. It just makes a cool variety. In fact, when people are like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. And how do I get that? I don't know. I just, it was an accident. It's just kind of fun. Um, when you, we sell some at a roadside stand, so you get some funky looking, it's a pumpkin. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be perfect. But your Hoden, Howden, however you say that one, um, is really, really, really good for your carving pumpkin. Love it. Okay, so then I have Baby Pam, which is a pie pumpkin. Really good pie pumpkin. Um, this is squash, squash. 
but really any pumpkin but you can be used as pie pumpkin to tell you the truth so those are Hoden and I might be able to fit these in otherwise I'm gonna make these work I don't I might have to get a third thing but I don't want to I don't want to right now spinach I always do Bloomsdale or squash um radishes so I will throw this packet away because I absolutely hated them. White icicle. Oh, they were the bane of my existence last year. Hated white icicles. They, they just, uh, you turned around and they bolted and they were just, they were so stinking hot. Not even, uh, not even fun to eat hot. Not fun. Um, so those radishes, not my favorite. Champion is a really good one. Cherry Bell is another really good one. Um, maybe that was one that he didn't have that i bet that was it it's one that i wanted but he did not have it because of supply chain issues that's okay um i will be fine with what i have here and i can always get more if i need it so not a big deal i love going over there so i have to stop by there again oh darn Ooh, too bad. okay summer squash next you know like your zucchini and your yellow summer squash butter scallop which is your patty pan type squash green machine fortune fortune um those are the ones that i have so the fortune is the yellow squash one i need to write that on the packet i do know that okay thanks my helper over here is gonna remind me okay yellow how about yellow now I know that's my yellow squash. I do know that. But again, I probably will be out in the field going, where are my yellow squash? I'm realizing, oh, wait, I already planted them. So sunflowers, actually, I do not have anything to add to this because I still have a lot of sunflowers. I'm not giving you recommendations on sunflowers. Just plant, plant whatever you like with sunflowers. And then we have squash. I have loofah. I'm going to start loofahs this year. I tried last year, did not start them early enough. In fact, I really need to get them started right now. And um, delightful and carnival are delightful is a uh, is a butternut variety and carnival is an acorn variety and it, uh, we kind of just tried it one year and it was like by far my son's favorite Swiss chard I don't have any to add because I had so much but I always get rainbow it's so pretty it's so pretty and it it produces crazy amounts okay. Now to my tomatoes, the big one where a lot of people want to know. Um, let's see. Last year I did grape at as my grape tomato, cherry tomato, small one. I, I it wasn't that I wasn't that excited really. Um, and then this year I actually have um, some that I had gotten at the discounted rate. Um, so I have Big Beef, Better Boy, which is really the Better Boy is just your all around like large good tomato it's kind of yeah the old standard um amish paste is my absolute number one must i i recommend i do not plant anything else um for a paste tomato roma style tomato amish paste my favorite um other good ones that i really like mortgage lifter really big big heirloom style jet star and jet setter um i could not get jet setter this year bummer but Jetstar they were like my best ones I don't even know why I only got one why did I only get one? Oh my goodness that's all right I've got other ones um Woodle Orange is a new one for me this year um I got an Amish paste I got more yellow pear um but Jetstar Jet Setter um Amish paste absolute must and Mortgage Lifter are all ones that I've done before and I love um uh, beets. I usually do Detroit Supreme. They always turn out really great. Uh, broccoli. That is another one that I did really, had a really good year of broccoli. Um, Diplomat and Amadeus are the two that I have. And Brussels sprouts. I had a fabulous year last year with Brussels sprouts. Actually, I've had two really good years. Um, the three that I've planted are Dimitri, Dagon, and Diablo. And I tell you what, I've had some beautiful brussels sprouts so i recommend all three of those um cabbage um cairo and stonehead i think are my two favorites 
Um, I had a great year with carrots last year as well. These are empty. Um, and so I have Bolero and Dulceva are the two that I plant carrots. All right, so my cauliflower was, I got ahead of myself, Snow Crown and Bermeo. Bermeo, that's cauliflower. A celery, uh, there's one variety available to me and it's Tango and it works and I have great success with celery. The reason I did not know what Brilliant is is because this is the first year I've done it and it is celer Celerac. Celerac. I'm gonna write that on the thing. It's the first time I'm going to try that one, but I'm just gonna stick it in with the celery seeds and that's fine. Um, corn, I do actually have some. This is popcorn in here. Oh, and this is another sweet corn. So, um, corn, my very, very favorite always must do is ambrosia. That's just the one I always do. It works great. It's a nice sweet corn. It's not too sweet. It's not too, you know, whatever. It's just, it's great. I love it. And, you know, after you've tried a lot and you like, try and you're like, oh, I'm not so thrilled. And you're, you know, back and forth and you kind of waste the whole thing. You're, if you find a good one, you're like, okay, I'm sticking with it. I'm trying to figure out which packet is open. I think it's this one homemade. <sighs> that's kind of, a, that's tricky because cucumbers are, <laughs> I have a lot of different varieties. Well, that's okay. We like surprises too. That's okay. Um, homemade is a good cucumber. Diva is my number one. I love Diva. That is, um, so your homemade is like your pickling cucumber. Diva is like your slicing one. And you can pick them when they're small. Like you, you can pick them when they're bigger as well. But when they're small, they're kind of like those snacking cucumbers that you get at the store. You know, oh, they're so good. Um, yeah. That's what I have for cucumbers. Those are my favorites. I have other ones, but that's what I would recommend. Flowers, I am not going through my flowers. I always put out zinnias and asters, um, marigolds, easy things like that. I will plant a bunch of marigolds for um, to put right into the garden to you know keep pests away. Um, I also have some herbal ones, so like yarrow and stuff like that. Um, herbs, parsley, cilantro, thyme, oregano, sage, basil, you know, your herbs. I have two big things of herbs. Lots of basil. Lots of basil. Rosemary. All those yummy things. Kale. I have winter boar. I ordered some more kale on um, online. And I have some here from last year. Um, and really, kale, you can plant a little bit. And it, if you keep harvesting, you're going to be good for like the whole year. It's it really, even with my CSA and everything, I had so much kale and I harvested so much that people were like, enough kale. They were, they were done with kale. So, um, did I talk about beets? Detroit dark red. I did talk about beets. I have a huge thing. This will last me like a few years. Um, and beans. My favorite are jade. Absolutely love jade beans. They are fabulous. Royal burgundy is a really good, um, uh, purple one and slender slenderette and blue lake also really good jade my favorite I'm um, just going through and seeing if I missed any spinach. I think I said that bloomsdale. Yeah, I think I've got them all um, Like I said, so that's how I organize it. Look, it's all organized. It's awesome I will have a few things coming in like I said um, Here this week and I will be starting seeds this week um, yeah, so that's super exciting and it's hard to believe that actually it's not hard to believe, but I'm excited. Winter is wrapping up sort of via the calendar it is, but, um, and soon we'll be in the garden and yay, all those fun things. So I hope that showing you how I organize my seeds and kind of going over the seeds, the things that I buy, it was helpful to you. And if it was, uh, if you could hit that subscribe button, the like button, that would be great. And I will see you all in the next video. Thank you.